Hi guys, uh, so I'm just going to tell you quickly how you can get Yuhi's wonderful um, Diva plugin working from within your Ableton Push. So you can scroll down through the 1400 or so presets, load them up and control them from inside Push uh, more or less immediately. And you can see them on my screen right there. Okay, so after you've been to um, the Mableton site, that's Mableton with an M, uh, and got the integration packs, you'll be sent uh, this link. You just download, click on the um, zip icon there uh, and download that to your downloads folder. And you can see uh, then it will appear in your downloads folder as a zip file. You extract the zip um, to get the next folder there, the deeper folder. And that's what it uh, contains. Diva, uh, all the uh, presets, the third party, all of them will come in the pack like that. And next you want to locate your Ableton 9 user library. You can use Spotlight on your Mac and just type in user library, it should come up. It's this black one here. And go to user library, presets, instruments, instrument rack and you can see in my instrument rack there I've got Diva already you won't have it there okay so what you're gonna do is go back to your downloads to that unzip Diva folder select it and drag it over to the instrument rack folder and put it in there where you can see mine's there already Okay, so after this, uh, you want to go to the same location in live screen. That's user library. It's a bit blurred. You can more or less see it. Presets. Instruments. Instrument rack. And you'll see that Diva will have appeared there. What you want to do then is select that Diva folder there and drag it over here to places and drop it in there. You can see I already dropped mine in there um, so that it will appear in Live's places. Um, and then you want to uh, just wait a couple of minutes for places to update, maybe take the USB cable out of um, Push and plug it back in again um, until uh, Push uh, picks it up there. And then uh, after a few minutes it will appear on your Push screen in places there as Diva, and it's done in the same order as it appears um, on the Diva screen. So local comes first, uh, and of course um, you can scroll down through all of them in the same order, um, and third party, and you've got all the same third party that you have uh, on Diva. Okay, there's an example. So then going back to uh, the first preset, um, the deep space one on the local uh, grouping, we can just load that up. And once you load it up, you'll see um, Diva will appear, um, the one you've selected there. And the rack will be down at the bottom here with um, Diva, all the map parameters there will already be done uh, for you and you have the eight empty macros which we'll talk about in a moment. Back on the push screen um, to see the, the map parameters that we just saw on the computer screen there. Um, we're just going to hit uh, device. You see the empty macros which we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, and then you're going to hit this in button here twice and you'll get all those um, banks of parameters that have been mapped there. 16 banks of eight parameters. So then at a very basic level, we play something uh, sad and mournful for a moment. And we just take one of the parameters here, say this one. Of course.
course, you can record that uh, using Live's automation. Okay, well, there are a lot of parameters uh, here in the banks um, and down here, and they can be a bit confusing to go through. So when you're working with a preset, what you might want to do um, is work out uh, which of them um, apply to which of the um, knobs um, on Diva, uh, and then map those ones that you want to work with um, over to the macros so that you have those um, on your first screen on push. I'll explain a little bit what I mean. Um, so let's say I want to work with this section um, of the of Diva's screen, um, and I've uh, played around a bit down here or on push, uh, the same, uh, and I found um, that this model here, when I move that, um, it changes this part of the screen. And of course I can do this on push as well, that's the whole idea really. Um, but I'm going to show you configuration, which is why I'm down here. Um, and then some of these uh, buttons here um, will move some of the other buttons there on, on the screen. So I want to map these ones over to uh, the macros at the front. So the way I do that is, first of all, I go right to the right-hand side of the rack and I hit configure um, so that it goes green. And then let's say that I want um, this one for changing the screen there. So I click on that one. I say map to macro one. And then let's say for the sake of argument, I want it to play with the range. I'd select this one, map to macro two. And if I wanted the uh, shape, the waveform, I would select this one, map to macro three. And then uh, scroll over and hit configure again so that it's not green anymore. Okay, now when I go to device on push, those parameters that I selected there will appear on the first screen and they will also appear on the rack there, the macros, the first three have been mapped. So that means when I first get to this instrument on the very first screen I've got the parameters that I want to work with most and of course you can have up to um, eight. Okay so now using these uh, macros I can play about a bit uh, with the screen. from push if you want to uh, move around the order of any of these parameters um, so that they appear in a different bank uh, on push then you do the same you hit configure um, you select and you can just drag and drop like that for example uh, or of course you can delete any of these because push doesn't allow for every single parameter of Diva to be mapped here. Most of them are here, of course. There are one or two that are not, um, so if you prefer a couple of others on there um, than the ones that are there, you just uh, can delete um, and then configure the parameters uh, for the ones you want um, yourself. And then don't forget um, to hit this save button here, not, not the other one down to the right there, this one here, um, to save your version um, of the preset with your macros mapped there. Um, and save it as, um, for example, Deep Space Diva 1 or something like that. So that's more or less it. I mean, this is the instant way to get um, all of the 1,437 um, factory presets from Diva instantly um, browsable, loadable, and controllable um, from within Push and to see it there on your Push screen um, just like you would with um, an Ableton instrument. Uh, and you can see them all 
there as well. Okay, I hope you have uh, lots of fun and enjoy. Bye.